Good afternoon, here we are on day 19 of the challenge. Where are the days going? They're flying by. If you're new here, we are building 30 apps in 30 days and we're making a video every single day. If you've not been watching, go back. You've got a bunch of content to enjoy and, uh, and do subscribe so you don't miss the future videos. It's been a pretty good week, pretty stable, pretty consistent. We've had a few blips, but steady sailing so far. We don't have a bunch of time, so we've got a bit of a speed build on our hands. But anyway, let's jump into today's video. Okay, we've secured the white monster. But it's the last one in the fridge. I think we, we need to restock. So Mr. Ian Nuttall here tweeted about this clawed sentiment thing that was pretty cool. So the way it works is it takes a bunch of people's sentiment on how Claude or ChatGPT or Gemini is performing. So if I say, oh, Claude's mid, and then I'm going to verify it. But anyway, we won't do that. And it gives a little overview of how things are doing. And I think this is nice. So I replied, pretty cool. Might be, might make, apparently I couldn't speak this morning but i said might make a subreddit monitor for the models to get sentiment because reddit is really the place where you're going to find out what the general vibe is of the models and when things start going a bit pear-shaped reddit is going to be the first to moan about it we saw it last week or the week before with claude where people were saying what's going on with claude it doesn't seem right and then at the end of the week yeah claude literally came out and said you might have seen lower intelligence malform responses or issues with tool calling in claude code so it's almost like reddit is the first to know and then you know the actual official response takes a bit longer but we're going to solve that problem today we're going to make a tool that monitors reddit sentiment on different models and then it will almost be like a re real-time status page and it's not going to be like a performance uptime it's not going to be like an uptime monitoring it's going to be sentiment based and maybe it could also be cool to show line charts like what maybe we could and there's a bunch of other ideas maybe we could track the sentiment over time of different models and see which is the meta at the moment which are people enjoying the most we could also combine that with some data from open router that shows the amount of usage different models are getting like i said we haven't got too much time so let's start building so yesterday we built our vibe enhancer which turns your rough idea into an actionable prompt so if you haven't seen that video go and give it a check it's not perfect but like any good builder we should be dog fooding our own products so let's start our prompt in here so we are going to be using Chef by Convex, and for this we need how many? Hopefully you can't hear the fan too much, but it is a bit hot in here. Hey, help me refine this starting from. And actually, as I said in yesterday's video, how much time you work on the site can actually determine whether you're going to get off straight to the race and have a good one shot and be in a good place, or if you're going to find yourself in the weeds after the third or fourth prompt. And also, I'm making a sentiment tracker for the top coding models. Okay, so we also need to figure out how we're going to be scraping this. So are we just going to do this? Or are we going to use maybe Firecrawl? But I don't, I think Reddit does make it a bit hard to scrape. Maybe Reddit API. So if we just type in this here, what do we actually get back from that? So we can see here we're getting, I think we're getting the posts here, like the top posts, but I don't think we're getting much else. So if I go to a certain post, and then I do put dot JSON after. Will it give me back the contents of the post? Yes, it does. So that's pretty cool. So just dot JSON at the end. Shout out JB, friend of the show, LLM refs for that tip. But I think if we're making a bunch of these calls, we might have to do something a bit smart to stop Reddit basically blocking scraping because Reddit doesn't want LLMs scraping and training data. But that's not what we're doing. So hopefully none of our friends over at Reddit have any problems with this maybe it will be easier with the reddit api and we won't have to do proxies and stuff anyway let's get set up okay so you can see here we are refining our prompt and we've got a nice enhanced prompt which is trained on some of claude code best practices it's a bit of a chunky one but it's taken what we've got and it's asked me some follow-up questions so it's pretty nice don't know what's going on here maybe we need to exit out of that fast ship ugly right that actually looks quite nice so here's our prompt so let's try and put that into convex now, but I think it might be too long. Maybe if I enhance it here, it will reduce it. I don't really want to go too much. This has gone a bit too heavy on the tech stack to be fair. So I'm going to change that in our prompt app and let's remove technical details. Okay, I'll be honest. The problem we got out of our tool wasn't great. So I'm going to need to adjust that before tomorrow's video. But anyway, we just made a simple one here. Create a sentiment tracker, but that's why we dog food, right? So we know what to fix and know how to make it even better. Great sentiment tracker app should feature a clean minimalist homepage. Daily, the app will fetch top 20 Reddit posts in their comments. Design the interface, clear visual hierarchy. Layout is responsive. Yep. Cool. Let's whip it up, Convex. You know what to do. 
Meanwhile, let's have a look at the API. I did, I think, sign up for this because there was a Reddit hackathon that I never actually submitted for. By the way, we've got a couple of hackathons next week. There's a Figma Make hackathon, which is an online one, and I'm doing an in-person hackathon in London, and it is a cursor hackathon. So that's going to be fun. We'll bring the GoPro, we'll do a vlog there, and it should be some nice vibes. So if you are in London and going to the Cursor Hackathon, let me know. We'll sync up, we'll get you in the video and show what you're building that day. Okay, so let's see what Chef has cooked up here. Set up the database schema, it's created sentiment analysis using Chef's inbuilt open AI API, which is nice responsive. And it's setting up all the functionality to actually carry out the scraping and sentiment analysis on a daily basis, which is a nice thing about Convex is that it can run everything sitting alongside the database. So when you compare that to things like Superbase, everything's a bit separated, everything's a bit disconnected. So this just works, I always say it. It takes a minute to wrap your head around, but you don't really need to have an in-depth understanding of how everything fits together. I mean, it's good to read, it's good to understand if you can, but especially Convex Chef, probably the best five code products right now. And you can either keep building in Convex Chef or what I like to do is I bring it locally to Claw Code or Cursor, and then we have some more fun with it. But I guess we're about to find out, Claw Code or Cursor, that's the question, right? That's the question everyone's wondering. What's the meta? That's, hopefully our app is going to solve that problem. Anyway, it looks like it might have stalled even though I was just singing its praises, but that is fine. Maybe a few TypeScript issues that it's run into here. Okay, we're here with a quick refresh. Where are we at? We've got a preview here. Hey, how's this going? Oh, here we go. Analyzes Reddit sentiment. Beautiful dashboard. Looks like we've got a pretty good one shot out the gate here. So we'll sign in and non here. Connect into the real edit Reddit API. So here, like I said, it's pushing the functions, which is actually going to be carrying out the the sort of scraping or talking to the Reddit API. There we go. We've got some mock data there. So sentiment, everything's neutral. If everything's neutral, then nothing. Yeah, it's a bit boring, isn't it? So let's try and connect to the Reddit API. I like this so far though. Yeah, maybe I'll do that in Claw Code because then we can do it with the CLI and make sure that everything is working. So we're going to download the code and get this set up locally and then hopefully get the API sorted. Okay, so I've got the Reddit docs here and what I'm going to do is make a new file just in the root of this directory called Reddit docs .md, and I'm just going to paste this all in here. Probably not the best way to do it, but at least we've got it. And um, then I'm going to come here and I'm going to say, we need to set up Reddit API to pull posts and comments and then pass them for our sentiment tracking. Let's try and get the Reddit API set up in the CLI, which is going to use claw code and the terminal to basically just make sure that we can access and pull posts and then pull comments just so we can get the data. So instead of trying to set something up and then try it in our front end and then it fails and then back and forth, it can just go and churn away and get it all done. Very mu much more efficient. So we're gonna then say C Reddit, what did I call it? Reddit docs.md. Maybe it's not in here just yet. Is it? Did I put it in properly? Yeah, it should be in there. Save it. API, so use CLI to pull posts and pull comments. Just, just to try. So let's Reddit Claude Code. I think, is it Claude Code or Anthrop? That's got 26K. Anthropic has 47K. Okay, let's just do this one for now. It's all the best. Also, I do, I do hope that I've got the right docs there. Maybe I have because that would look like the old school docs. Is this for an app though, like a Reddit app rather than just the API? Let me ask ChatGPT. Hey, I'm building a Reddit, I'm building a tool that's using the Reddit API to scrape posts and comments. Do I need a Reddit app for this? Because they've got the Reddit like app developer, but they've also got the docs as well, just like the normal docs. What? do I need here? Register a Reddit app. Okay. But surely they wouldn't have those old docs up, would they? Why have I got item? Okay, so yeah, apps here, the, what we need. It does look like the old way of doing things. So let's see if we can just get a link here. Okay, so here we go. It looks like there's this debit thing that we need. Okay, here, Reddit API. Perfect. Reddit API. Actually, it looks like we might have some more up-to-date docs. So I'm gonna paste in some stuff now. Let me know if this looks better. So I'm gonna paste that in and then I will do this API reference here. That's a lot of context, but we'll just dump it in. I'll make the app now. So then let's make a Reddit app. So Reddit apps, dev app here, get started. Yep, current experience using block. I don't know. 
Okay, so the Reddit API docs did look the same there. I don't know what I need here. Like we do on the show, we just ask LLMs when we don't know. What are looking at? Devit, template chooser. I don't need a template. What you actually need, what this old school one? Create an app. Okay, well, okay, let's just try this here. I'm just gonna paste that in there and hopefully it will just push those environment variables to convex and I don't have to copy and paste them individually. Let's okay, so now it's gonna test. So let's try and fetch some posts and some comments using the CLI. Okay, let's check back on Mr. Item. Why why are you even in why are you even in here? I'd never use you. Go away. Okay, so it didn't like that. Script instead of web app. Script. There you go. I don't actually think we even created oh update. Is this working? Did it create? What is going on here? Create credential. Yeah. Flipping it. This is a bit mental, isn't it? Edit, update app, update app. Or maybe I, maybe I needed to make it as it said a script. Can I delete this? Oh, it's a bit mad, isn't it? Fuck's sake. Okay, I think they actually have their thing on Reddit, on Rapid API. So if we go Reddit here, are there some unofficial ones maybe, just to get us going and in a good spot. So now we're gonna we'll just put in popular posts by subreddit, post comments. There we go. So we're just gonna try this just to get it working. Because, oh, I need to subscribe here. 50 a month. Oh, fuck's sake. No, we can't do that either. We do need to go out in a second. It's not looking good, is it, folks? As we always say, getting the app set up, that's where most of this work is. Which is to say that it doesn't really suit these speed builds, does it? What I'd maybe say to you is try and get this done as quick as possible, the setup and deployment. And then after that, you're just vibe coding. So don't let this setup period drag on for ages. Just try and get it done as quick as possible. Also, I think if you can deploy early so that deployment isn't actually like a friction, because if you're building something for ages and you're like, oh, I need to deploy it, it's going to be such a big task to deploy. That's going to stop you from shipping. Okay, so it's looking like we might need to pick this back up this evening, which isn't actually a big problem because... We've got the kind of UI in place. We just need the data and then it's just going to be about vibe coding, how we can make it look pretty cool and have some fun with it. Maybe let's try new Reddit API client. Where do I get my settings in on this Devit thing? So we're going to set up with this. Okay, we're giving it a last spin here to see if we can get something before we have to go. Apparently it's building. I'd love to see it fetch some posts right now. Can you please test it to see if we have connection to get some posts? <laughs> So maybe what we'll do is just build on top of this instead of doing the convex thing. Maybe we'll just build a simple front end that will then take the data and display it. We will see. But it looks like we've got some directory confusion going on here now. It's a bit of a pain. But it would be much more of a pain if we did not have claw code. Okay, so good news. It looks like we do have contact. So that'll be good for when we come back. And it's going to do some cooking now to update convex with it. I don't know how good that would have worked, but we're about to find out. So I'll see you folks in the evening. For you, it'll be a few seconds. Hello team, how we doing? We're back for the evening. My phone's dead, so we've got the MacBook webcam going on there. So where are we at, you may be asking. Okay, so we've got our sentiment dashboard up. We got set up with the Reddit API in the end. Actually, we didn't use the API. We just used JSON calling. So basically, I think I said it at the start. We're basically just putting JSON at the end of every subreddit query we get back that yeah i did show you that earlier but as we said earlier we might need to use proxy because when we ran it as a convex action reddit basically didn't like convex going and getting all these fetching all these posts and pages so we had to use a proxy but that was super easy to set up we didn't actually need to set anything up claw code just whipped it up out the gate apparently we didn't need an api key or anything so that is nice and i just posted this tweet which i quite like i used to rip call of duty or valorant on a friday night now i just rip claw dangerously skip permissions so here we are, cheers gents, a little liquid death, sparkling water. It looks like Guinness, it's not though. So what we do is we're basically scraping all the posts then we're scraping the comments and then we're running it through analysis. So we've got some senti sentiment analysis going on. So yeah, we're basically pulling, we're going to the subreddits, we're pulling the top posts and then for each post we're pulling the comments and then we're running it all through an LLM to get sentiment and then we're displaying it here. So you can see Claude today, the top 10 posts all negative sentiment and we should be showing that we're analyzing the comments gemini cursor look here's the thing i don't think people are that interested in like oh is gemini performing well today or well for cursor 
that just can change your model. And GitHub Copilot, no one's really talking about that. So I'm thinking we just do Claude and do, call it Claude Vibe Check or something and just go through the top Claude subreddits and get like a sentiment snapshot of every day. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so what we'll do here is say, yo, change of plan, boss. So we only want to do Claude Vibe Checks now. So this would be the two subreddits. So for each of these, take the 20 posts and all their comments, run each post comment variation through a sentiment analysis, do it on a scale of 10. So we have more granular data, one being super negative, 10 being super positive. Then we can split and break down. And I'd like to show people each post and comment. So not each comment, but they can go through and see the posts of the day and how we got that sentiment. So you can actually see and maybe even why our LLM rated it as it has done and like a brief summary perhaps. Now, so do you understand? So let's see. Okay, let's see what we got now then. So if we refresh it, nothing has changed. Yeah, look, holy crap, the Claude community is really unhappy. And actually, I do wonder if Anthropic actually pay attention to this sentiment. It seems like it takes quite a long time for it to go from this subreddit to Twitter to then like general consensus. So it's going to now shift up the front end and we should be moving. So now we've just got Claude Vibe Check, which is pretty cool. So we've got our 10 posts that we've checked, I think. Oh no, we've got maybe a bit more. So it's showing some recent discussions here, which is actually pretty sick so we've got claude code subreddits looks like maybe only claude code oh we've got 40 discussions analyzed so 20 from each and we've got as i said in the prompt we've got a spectrum out of 10 so here we've got nine yeah one being pretty shit 10 being good so that is a spectrum so we're just going to try and improve this ui a bit and it would be cool if we could show maybe the last seven days so we could see the vibe over a period of time Maybe even cooler to see over the last month, but let's just start with this for now. I feel like my voice seems croaky this evening. Okay, so we're getting some live data coming through here. So we've got the seven day vibe trend, which is going to hopefully take top posts every day and map them out. Um, so you can see here, I think this is changing. To be honest, it's quite fun doing this with the Reddit data, man. I think there's probably quite a lot of other use cases we could do here. Claude is on it again. Good stuff. So we have got this here. I do want to add Shad CN to make it a little bit more clean. So we're going to do that now. We've pushed to GitHub, so we're ready for deployment. And maybe we'll reshuffle this UI a little bit. But yeah, there we go. And let me just check. Actually, so let's compact that and then get ready for Shad CN installation. You know what? I can't really be bothered to make it Shad CN. Yeah, it has a better chance, for God's sake. It does have a bit of a better chance of doing some better numbers if it looks cleaner, because this looks a bit funky at the moment let's try and do a quick shutty and clean up and then okay i'll get back to you yo so here we have it out on prod claude vibe check dot for sell dot app we're having some issues with our here so we need to clean that up but for now what's done is it's taking the 40 posts from today and it's running it all it's running the posts and the comments through a sentiment check and then it's mapping them out so you can see here the vibe is not great today and we'll be able to map out over the last period i think it'd be cool to get a longer time range as well so we could see what it's like over the last 30 or 60 days to see is the sentiment getting worse is it getting better is it picking up and that'd actually be really valuable if you want to dive in a bit deeper here you can see like a bit more you can see the summaries of specific posts as well and you can go view the posts on reddit and a little separation of very negative and positive and i know that there's some things here like reddit skews towards a bit more negative so maybe we could clean it up but i do actually think there's a lot of value in this and I think valuable for users to get a vibe check, but also for businesses in this space to get a vibe check. Maybe I could productize this product and make it so companies can do vibe checks on their own stuff. Some kind of nice monitoring tools. I know there's a bunch out there, but this has got a nice Shad CN theme and the others don't. But yeah, that's it for today's build. I see there's a Nano Banana Hackathon tomorrow, so maybe we need to check that out. But until then, I'll catch you tomorrow. All the best.